Pitti's PM bid ends after suspension from Parliament Thai reformist leader Peter Limjuro Enrat's bid to become Prime Minister ended Wednesday, despite his party winning the most votes in May elections, after the military and pro-royalist establishment blocked his bid for power. Pitta's move forward. Party M. FP has ridden high on the support of young and urban ties frustrated by nearly a decade of army-backed rule, but its efforts to form a government have stumbled. The 42-year-old was dramatically suspended from parliament while seated in the chamber for discussions on his candidacy, which came to an end when lawmakers voted to refuse considering him for a second ballot. I would like to say goodbye until we meet again, he said, raising his fist as he left the assembly floor to the cheers of party allies. Pitta's suspension came when Thailand's constitutional court said it would proceed with a case that could see the leader disqualified from parliament altogether for owning shares in a media company. Lawmakers are forbidden from doing so under Thailand's constitution. Though the television station in question has not broadcast since 2007, Peter Harvard educated and wealthy from a family run a Griffood business has said the shares were inherited from his father. He has 15 days to respond to the case after he left the parliament. Lawmakers voted by a large margin to rule that he could not be considered for the post a second time. Peter can't be nominated twice in this. Parliamentary session, Speaker One Mohammed Nur Mafa said, over howls of protest from within the chamber, immediately before the day's proceedings were called to an end. Dozens of supporters cried and shouted abuse at a large riot police cordon guarding the gates of Parliament after news of Pitta's suspension broke. Why even ask people to go to the polls? One protester, who did not give his name, told AFP protesters began gathering in the evening for a public rally near Bangkok's Democracy Monument and police said they were prepared for any unrest, no matter what their opinions are. They need to follow rules and orders set by the police, said R.K. and Kraythong, a spokesman for the Royal Thai Police.